Hey everyone, welcome to Mitchy Games here, Knuckleheads, and today we'll be doing Torbjorn as our feature character here. Um, so that's kind of just what he generally looks like as a character, and I kind of give a little bit of overview with uh, Torbjorn. Um, he was a builder during the Omnic Crisis, and basically got no right for designing his weapons, but um, he was kind of at odds with his employers who desired to control his weapons using network control intelligence. Basically what kind of happened with things like Make It Bastion and those kind of characters. Um, he had mis deep mistrust in the robot, science, science, sentient robot intelligence. There we go. Um, and basically um, his worst fuels were realized when the robot population turned against human creators. Um, he made critical resource for all the technology needed and signature weapon systems. Uh, basically he kind of helped one of the founders of Overwatch. Uh, but in the aftermath of Overwatch's fall, maybe his weapons were stolen or stashed around the world. He's uh, determined to stop them from creating the wrong hands. So basically, he's kind of going around trying to make sure the weapons that he created don't get into the wrong hands. Um, which is quite interesting for Torbjorn because he's an interesting character. Um, I will say this quick also. Um, I'm recording this video after the ma major update that happened with this game. So Torbjorn did get nerfed in both console versions. He did not get nerfed, however, in PC. And that is a distinction that needs to be made here because um, Torbjorn, uh, his turret is what was a problem. It was an auto-lock turret. So people who... Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. No. So, <laughs> I guess I am just going to be doing my thing. Build them up, break them down. Okay, so, I got five of the Russian chicks and me on the team. So, yeah, it looks like we're just going to go with this here. So, um, but anyway, so some of his uh, abilities for the character, uh, his rivet gun is... Sh a shot like this. So that's his rivet gun. Forge hammer is this and it helps kind of help build the turrets. So that's the turret deploy which is a uh, left button trigger and um, might change depending on the um, what you're looking for as far as what game you're playing. Um, but there's that. Scrap collector which is if there's any character that dies you drop scrap. You build that scrap and make uh, armor packs which defends helps add defense to these guys. <laughs> and then his ultimate, ultimate ability is Molten Core, which turns all turrets from a level 2 to a 3, <coughs> and then basically makes his shot super powerful. So, he's interesting. Um, so here's a turret. Shit. That's gonna destroy. I'm just gonna wait. Wait for that to come back. That did not happen well. I'm gonna see if... Oh shit. Cancel that. Okay. Fuck. Keep trying to build on those turrets, it's not happening. Fuck. God damn it. Come on. God. I keep trying to build a turret and it's not doing it. Um, this is a problem with the character. He's he's half good, half bad at attack. If it's something like taking a point, he's terrible. He's he's not good. The second part, however, I could do extremely well. You put a turret on top of this thing, and goddamn, he's gonna be good. Come on. Come on, get this, get this going, get this going, get this going, get this going. Come on, get to level two. Okay, sweet. Now I got turn on top of this thing, and now we're doing. It's a moving turret, so 
If that helps you. Yes! See? This is where he does so good. Triple kill turret. Oh my god, I love it right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep it going. All kinds of armor. There we go. So this is where he's good. He is turret. It's it's floating. It's a floating turret. That's wonderful. I love floating turrets. Give myself some armor. Why not? Um, but basically, um, so a set turret like this works great. It works fantastic. Um, and I'm on fire right now, which is rare because I don't use turbo a whole lot. Oh god, fuck me. Let's see if we can stop him. Oh! We're just gonna. Motherfucker. Oh, goddamn it. Okay. Shit! God, come on, come on, come on. That'll work. <laughs> oh. Who's the Russian chick? I don't know who the Russian chick is. And I got to play of the game. <laughs> the one person that doesn't pick the girl. I got a triple kill out of that, I think. Oh, that was beautiful. That was such a beautiful game. So that's Torbjorn for ya. Um, he's... A very unique character. He really is. I like him a lot. Um, and he is one of those characters that... Right situation, he's great. Uh, if he's put in the wrong situation, he's not a good character. He really isn't. But... It's, he's a very situational based character. If you're holding a zone and you're defending Holden, he's great. He will work. Um, attacking, not so much. Um, not unless you go... It's like a switch turn based one. That one where he, he might do okay, but you got to control the zone first, set up the turn, and then go from there. Um, again, where it's straight up attack... He's not going to do well. He's just not going to be durable enough. He is a 200 defense or 200 health point character. So he's not bad. But then again, you know, he's he's in the middle. He's he's good enough. He can do about two, three quarters of the situations that arise, um, which is more than enough. So that's Torbjorn for you. Um, I would say that was a very unusual situation having... Um, what is that hero's name now? Zara. Zarya. Um, having five Zarya's on the team, but it worked. Um, people doing that is just so much fun. I, I, I did it all Junkrat team. That was great. Um, but it shows you t the right the right team. Torbjorn could do great. Um, so that's it for you guys. If you liked the video, um, definitely give it a like. If you um, want to see more great content from me, Please do subscribe today. I always love hearing from you guys. And not much else. Um, this is the holiday weekend. Um, happy 4th of July when this comes out. I hope you guys enjoy the 4th of July fireworks. Um, wherever in your respective hometown. Um, and also just a quick note. And I'm not trying to make this video any longer than it has to. But um, please do honor your servicemen and women this holiday. Um, yes, it's not a... Memorial Day or um, Veterans Day, but it, it's kind of one of those weird patriotic holidays. You still kind of should honor them. Um, and just remember that uh, we gained our independence this year, uh, which is a huge thing. Um, because independence is important because uh, it showed how we as a country stood up for something. And I think that's where we need to get back to is we need to go back to standing up for something again. So, um, Stand up for your rights, stand up for uh, fair use, stand up for LGBT rights, stand up for whatever you guys want to believe in. Um, 
and just go from there. Um, stand up for what's right for you guys. And if you do, good things will come to you. As always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play.